This is the answer key for naming compounds with polyatomic ions. Uh, in the title itself, it says the word ion, so we know that these will be ionic compounds. We could also identify these being ionic because in the formulas, there are three or more atoms. If we see three or more atoms in these formulas, we know it's going to be ionic. For our class, um, we're going to be able to split the formulas after the first symbol. The first symbol is always going to be a metal. The second portion of the formula will be our anion. If you know what these symbols are, you can just go off of memory. If you don't, you'll need to use a resource. Um, the back of our periodic table is very helpful. On the left-hand side, we have cations. On the right-hand side, we have anions. And that matches up with these formulas. On the left-hand side are cations. On the right-hand side are anions. So name the first particle, name the second particle. K is called potassium. Gets the full atom name. CO3 is carbonate, polyatomic ion. Na is sodium, full first name. OH is called hydroxide. CA is called calcium. PO4 is called phosphate. AG is called silver. And all three is called nitrate. AG again is silver. This time we have NO2, which is nitrite. CrO4 is chromate, uh, after we write down zinc. Zinc, chromate. And that's the right hand side, or the left hand side of our sheet. On the right hand side, Again, you can split after the first atom, so being able to recognize where atoms are is very important, where a symbol starts and ends. Mg is magnesium. Full first name on those metals. PO4 is called phosphate. K is called potassium. HCO3 is called bicarbonate. Li is called lithium, and then SO4 is called sulfate. K is called potassium, and NO2 is called nitrite, I-T-E. Make sure that your, those last three of the suffix is very clear. Al is aluminum, and CO3 is called carbonate. CA is calcium, OH is called hydroxide, 